Okay, hi there. Welcome to a business economics video. We have been looking uh, in lessons just this week at different business objectives as part of our microeconomics class. And I chose Brewdog as an example to use perhaps of a business that approaches corporate social responsibility, or CSR for short, in a fairly purposeful and often quite dynamic and innovative way. So let's spend a few, few minutes in this video looking at some recent examples of corporate social responsibility at Budog. The business was established in 2007 and has built a pretty solid reputation for a strong commitment to CSR. Of course, that has the bonus, if you like, the commercial dividend of helping to bring their brand regularly into the public eye. First of all, what do we mean by corporate social responsibility? Uh, defined as the extent to which a business addresses the concerns and obligations to its wider stakeholders. In other words, the actions, the decisions, the choices that a business makes over and above the minimum required by law in addressing a wide range of social or societal needs and wants. This graphic, I think, quite neatly illustrates the breadth of definition of what constitutes a stakeholder uh, in and around a business, rather than just the narrow interpretation, perhaps, of an equity shareholder in, in a commercial business. So here's some examples. I've got uh, six for you of uh, corporate social responsibility at Brewdog. First of all, the business is a living wage employer and the government sets the national minimum wage. Uh, the living wage is above that and it's voluntary and many businesses now start to pay the living wage to their employees. They also have a foundation and uh, they engage in some profit sharing. 10% of the profits of Brewdog, I think something like £8 million uh, profit last year. They are spread evenly with all team members every year. Recently, spring of this year, Brewdogs has planted or bought a forest, I think bought something like 200,000 acres in the heart of the Scottish Highlands and has created the Brewdog Forest uh, and it's planting a biodiverse sort of native broadband leaf forest uh, designed to take carbon out of the air. Um, the aim, by the way, by 2022 is to have planted a million of these trees up to 150,000 so far. A brew dog also has a street dog project to raise funds for animal charities. We'll look at that in a second. They aim significantly to become a carbon negative beer manufacturer. Again, we'll think of that in a moment or two. Their factory, they have obviously many manufacturing plants now as they've grown to scale. But their main factory, I think in Aberdeenshire in Scotland, London Wind Power. And this spring, recently, a brew dog pivoted away from manufacturing beer. Uh, to producing hand sanitizer for the NHS during the coronavirus pandemic. So this was the move in the spring. They started producing punk sanitizers and the profits, of course, of those uh, went to help NHS charities. Uh, what, about their what about their environmental commitment? The forest, the Brewdog Forest, is a great example uh, for your notes. So they bought the forest, they're planting trees, and their aim is to become carbon negative through what's called double offsetting. So their aim is to double offset the entire carbon footprint of the business through the planting of new trees. Here's the Street Dog Initiative uh, and in association with the comedian Ricky Gervais. They were successful in recent weeks. Interestingly, uh, whenever a team member at Breedog gets a puppy or adopts a dog, uh, they get a fully paid week off to help their family member settle in. Over 100 dogs have been adopted so far by employees at, at Brewdog. And uh, this was, I think, one of the best examples of a little innovative marketing strategy uh, when the Prime Minister's advisor, Dominic Cummings, tried to explain away a visit to Barnard Castle, saying that it was there to, uh, to test his eyesight on long drives. Brewdog very quickly manufactured a Barnard Castle eye test hazy beer. In fact, it was the most demand they'd ever seen for a beer. It crashed their website. They sold something like 650,000 cans. 
and that allowed them to make and then donate 100,000 bottles of sanitizer. There is, of course, value in being and having a strong reputation for corporate social responsibility. CSR and profitability and brand awareness, brand positioning, they're not mutually exclusive things, especially in an age where consumers regard the provenance of products, the, um, the responsibility, the sustainability of a business as pivotal in underpinning the brand. And according to the latest brand finance, Brewdog, a small Scottish manufacturer, is now in the top 20 beer brands in the world. And you can see that uh, they have really ridden the wave, if you like, of the craft beer revolution. Um, go back to 2010, they only had less than 40 people working for the business. By 2018, over 1,200, obviously much more now. Revenues have grown from 3 million to 170 million plus. Profits now above 8 million a year. Um, a significant success story and a good example, I think, of how corporate social responsibility and commercial success can go hand in hand.